Hey everybody! A couple of weeks ago, a friend, here is not a streamer, came by and he asked me if there was a way that I could have the song and artist of the person who is playing on his YouTube playlist somehow show up inside of OBS. After a couple of weeks of thinking and a bit of coding, I am proud to present a solution to that. I am calling it OBS YouTube Playlist Title, but hopefully we can come up with a better name than that because that name kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and get started. The guide for all of this stuff is at my GitHub, github.com slash swolcat slash OBS YouTube Playlist Title. So what you will need for this is you basically just need a browser source and the name of your playlist. So for th this example, we will be doing the Swole Jams playlist. So it'll look something like this. And as you can see, I have all of the Swole Jams in here. The main thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to have this uh, list ID. So what we're gonna do is, so you want to delete everything after the question mark and just append it to this URL. So in our example, you'll have swolcat.github.io slash OBS YouTube playlist title, uh, question mark V, all of this stuff, question mark list, index one. And if you wanna change the volume in here, you can do it. You can also change the volume in OBS, which is probably what I would recommend this time. So then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this URL. And you, if we go here, you'll see it says Swolecat the warm up. Because of Brave's issue with not auto playing music, it will not auto play, but this will work in OBS. Okay, so now we're in OBS. I'm going to make a new scene. I'm gonna call it playlist. And I am going to add a browser source. I'm gonna call it playlist thing. I'm gonna paste in my URL and I'm gonna have the width be 1920 and the height be 1080. This is probably overkill, but that's the size that we will have so the text can grow. And then I am going to click control audio for OBS so we can see it in the audio mixer and I can listen to it. And so we're gonna do this. Because you're on a black background and the text is black by default, you won't see anything, but you can see that the, hey, the playlist is going. So actually I'm gonna go into advanced audio properties so we can see it. And I'm gonna say monitor only. So we should be able to hear that. I am going to turn this down. So we just kind of have it in the background. You might wanna change the text, right? If you have a black scene, having black text is not ideal. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do custom CSS. So if you look at this guide, you'll see, hey, here's where I could do, I could change the color. Now, any CSS property will work. These are just two divs. So nothing's really all that complicated. Um, like if you wanted a horizontal, if you wanted weird stuff, you could definitely do that. I'm gonna paste that into the custom CSS. I'll say, okay, and you'll see, it says Swolecat won the warm up because that's the first song in the playlist. Unfortunately, this does not have the ability to skip or fast forward or, or shuffle or anything like that. This is just the playlist is how it is. So I would suggest that if you want to skip and do that stuff, this might not be the right thing for you. We could possibly talk about getting a Twitch API thing hooked up in the future. Right now it's just using the YouTube API and it's just simply just pulling the title and the channel from the thing. One really important thing to note is that if you want the music to stop playing when the, this source is no longer visible, you will need to go into properties and check shut down source when not visible. So if I go to another scene, music is no longer playing, which might be exactly what you want. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a nice time. And if you guys have any feature requests or bugs or anything like that, please let me know. You can catch me on Twitch. I'll see you later. Bye.